Hey everyone, I'm Erin Demchak, bringing you the latest Hollywood gossip right here on the Starpult scene. Since Samantha Harris got the boot as host of Dancing with the Stars, Buzz has been circulating about who will take her position. It is rumored that Ashlyn Gorse of E! is in the running, as well as former anchor of Access Hollywood, Nancy O'Dell. I don't really care if they put Paris Hilton on the show. Anyone is better than Samantha Harris and her awkward interview moments. Iconic British designer Alexander McQueen was found dead in his London home today. His reps aren't releasing any details of the 40-year-old's passing, but it is reported that he was found hanging, and Scotland Yard is saying that his death is not suspicious. Jamie Lynn Spears and her boyfriend slash baby daddy have broken up. The two have been together for three years and have a daughter Maddie together. Apparently she has already moved on to a 28-year-old local who is probably psyched and telling all his friends, dude, I just bagged Britney's sister, y'all. In other couples news, Charlize Theron and her longtime boyfriend Stuart Townsend have called off their nine-year relationship. It was reported that she was seen without the commitment ring he gave her, which she has said she never takes off. So carry the one. They're done, though. The Bachelor host, Chris Harrison, has said that many viewers may be upset about who Jake has chosen to give his final rose to. Will it be Gia, Tenley, Vienna, maybe Allie? It doesn't even matter who he picks because judging from the season's past, they're either going to break up or he's going to decide that he didn't make the right decision and bring back someone he already let go. American Idol's newest recruit, Ellen DeGeneres, made her judging debut this week, and survey says, we love her. After watching the show, I've come to the conclusion that she is, in fact, the female version of Ryan Seacrest, and that's why she fits in with the group so well. It's genius. It was announced this week that Tom Cruise and J.J. Abrams will team up with Paramount to produce Mission Impossible 4. I guess the studio forgave him for whatever he did that prompted them to escort him off the lot a few years back. Let's just hope he didn't trade them for Surrey straight up. Fueling even more rumors of the elusive Antler hookup, that's Aniston and Butler to those celebrity name combining impaired, Jennifer Aniston celebrated her 41st birthday in Mexico with a group of friends which included Gerard Butler. After the two filmed Bounty Hunter, they've been spending a lot of time together off the set. Let's just hope he's treating her right because I'm pretty sure I saw him kissing a barefoot violinist on Venice Beach last week. You might want to Google that, Jennifer. John Mayer gets explicit on his sex life with Jessica Simpson in this month's Playboy magazine. He calls her sexual napalm and goes on to say that if he could, he would pay $10,000 to sleep with her, he would snort her, and he would even quit life just to have sex with her. I really don't even have a comment. This guy is so weird. Now it's time to guess the famous movie quote. Each week we'll feature a quote from a famous movie. Tune in next week to see how your skills measure up. This week's famous movie quote. Anyone else would have left you by now, but I'm sticking with you. And if I have to ride your ass like Zorro, you're going to show me the money. Last week's famous movie quote was from A League of Their Own. Alec Baldwin was hospitalized this morning in New York City due to a misunderstanding, but is already back on the set of 30 Rock. The Associated Press is reporting that the 911 call was placed by his daughter Ireland after the two had a fight and he threatened to take some pills. I don't really think that's how you settle a parental tiff, Alec. That's it for this week. I'm Erin Demchak, contributing writer at Star Pulse. Check out these stories and more at starpulse.com, your entertainment destination. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>